Boom, baby. We are live and welcome to Interview with a Man, episode number 633, where we're going to be talking about the state of men in 2023. We are broadcasting live from the brand new setup with the brand new computer, top of the line. Check, check. Can you guys hear me? Is everything okay? Let me know. Just put a quick one in the chat so I know if we are a-okay. I need some quick, quick responses. Looks like we're good to go. So real quick, before we get going, can I just, I don't know, let me just, can I just test something real quick here? Let me test. <clears throat> Doing a quick audio test here. Tell me if you guys can hear this, if it's echoing or whatnot. Is it echo or is that good to go? No echo? Clean? But no echo. Roger that. Well, if you like that, you're going to love what I'm about to show you. Take a look because we've got something I've been cooking in the kitchen for all you men out there. I am not a man that believes in luck. I am not a man that believes in destiny. I believe in discipline. I believe in being powerful. I believe in being self-reliant. I believe in mentorship. And most importantly, I believe in me. I refuse to be a victim. And I know that every day I make a choice, a choice to be better than before, a choice to do what is right for me, a choice to not live as a slave to my emotions. And all of these choices will lead me to the burden that is heavy. And that burden is greatness. We live in the most prosperous times in human history. There is no excuse that outweighs the greatness that is in you that can get you the life that you want. Every day, we must make a choice to improve our lives or to be victims of inaction. The price of greatness is one we must pay every day, and it is a choice that I always make. Although the path we walk can be lonely, it is the most important thing we must do. Sometimes when you choose the life of greatness, you need a little help. I tell me. The best part of my journey is that I'm not alone, and neither are you.
That's right. It's back. It's better than ever. And we're only going to keep on leveling up and making it better for you guys. The Masculine Empowerment Network is going to be reopening for enrollment this upcoming May 8th. Mark your calendars. If you have been waiting and waiting and waiting, the time is now. The wait is no more. So stop what you're doing, okay? And what I want you to do is go to the Masculine Empowerment Network dot com right here and save your spot put your best email address in here and click here to save your spot you'll be locked and loaded and ready for our annual membership for helping elevate you to where you want to be in life okay so you might be thinking to yourself what do i get when i sign up take a look here the value is just ridiculous honestly speaking it is just unbelievable <clears throat> so here it is uh, when you sign up for the Masculine Empowerment Network, you're in for the entire year of 2023 and the first three months of 2024. So you'll be getting my top of the line course, Body Language Mastery. This is a course on how to read a woman's body language so you can know if a woman is interested in you and not interested in you. So you can move on with your life and find a good woman because life is too short to deal with a bad woman with ho friends and ho tendencies and all that nonsense to stress you out okay number two you get 60 webinars with experts in money muscles game and frame the schedule will be debuted very 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 soon okay um you're not going to want to miss out on that one as well and then uh 200 hours of class webinars you get a secured telegram chat you get direct access to me mld and then also you get access to what is a new thing called the open course access sale. Okay. So what you want to do is if you are able to, um, if you're able to sign up, I will be actually giving you access to all of my courses. You'll have a choice to purchase whichever you want and it'll be available at a price lower than if you were just to sit around and wait for it so that being said go right now stop what you're doing go to the masculine empowerment network.com get on the waiting list get locked and loaded ready to roll and uh you know it's gonna be a good year i'm excited about it so in addition to that what we're gonna be doing i'm gonna be live streaming here every day until may 8th yes you heard me correctly every single day until may 8th i will be live streaming on this channel so don't forget save this channel right now okay and you will be able to see all of the benefits and more through the Masculine Empowerment Network. How's everybody doing? Sorry I'm late. Uh, just new computer, new setup. Got the got rid of the uh, headphones. Is this, are we choppy? Is this, what's going, I don't know. Let me know. Um, it's driving me nuts. This had to set up a bunch of things on the computer. Are the FPS is good? We're right, ready to roll. Frames per second. Let's see, let's see. Not choppy? Okay, so just choppy on my end. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Solid. Lighting looks way better, brighter. Shout out to all you guys out there. Oh, shout out to the Super Chats already. Shout out to JJ, the Water Bearer Oracle. Appreciate you, sweetheart. Appreciate all your love and support on Instagram as well. Shout out to my brother all the way down in, I believe it's Argentina, Nicholas, with the 45 pesos. Uh, Michael with the 9.99 Super Chat, or excuse me, 99 cents Super Chat. Okay. So, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, where are the muscles? I guess they're with you and not with me. Got time to delete the channel. <laughs> this these camera makes me look small. But I mean really don't care. I mean, I've got people criticizing me left and right. Your hair is fake, your Rolex is fake, your blah 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 blah. At the end of the day, all you're telling me is that you're sad and miserable and my heart goes out to you. I hope that you find the peace that you're looking for because you're not going to find it through 
randomly trolling uh, YouTube channels, but it's okay. It's okay. So we got a lot to talk about. Boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. So, okay. Well, we, we're going to talk about the state of men um, in, you know, in America and the West, really. Okay. Um, because we're in bad shape out here, bro. We are in bad shape. Okay. Um, bear with me. I was a little, I'm a little bit, uh, rusty on the streaming because I was handling all of the guys who are serious about turning their lives around in the inner game healing summit. Shout out to you guys. If you're in the inner game healing summit, if you attended, go ahead and drop a comment in the chat. Just tell everybody what they missed out on. Tell everybody how great it was and what a just awesome moment to be sharing with you guys and myself, quite frankly, um, because it was just, honestly, it was just totally really life-changing stuff. Um, really, really life-changing stuff. And I'm happy to have been able to be in there with you guys because at the end of the day, I don't do this for clout. I don't do this for notoriety. I am not dead and empty inside that I need those things. I'm very content and strong with who I am as a man. Um, I do this for one reason and one reason only, and that is to change the lives of the men who are looking to change their lives. And it's like a crazy, right? Novel concept, I know. Um, you know, but uh, that being said, there is uh, so much to be done, so little time. I'm literally going to, like, it's, it's as wild as it is, like, I'm just never going to run out of, of clients because, um, and it's a good thing. And, and to you guys that are, um, you know, that are need a help, that's what we're here for. This is what I do it for. I mean, you guys know. Um, let me just see what everybody's saying in the chat. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. is da da da. Uh, 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 let me see. I think a Discord. We already have a Telegram. Telegram is better. Casey James says, "If you didn't get into the summit." On Q1, you goofed. It was a steal for a price for a full year. Exactly. Exactly. Rockhound says, Inner Game Healing Sun was a game changer. New tools added to the toolbox. Okay. Roger here says, one of the best experiences of my life. Already getting multiple new teaching offers. Thanks, John. Congratulations, man. Okay. Um, Nicholas here, all the way down from Argentina. He says, Inner Game Healing is awesome. So happy I joined uh, quarter one. We got so much value, and there's a still a whole year left to go. Yep, exactly. Yeah, it's true, man. So uh, shout out to everybody across. Shout out to you if you're watching on a replay, but we are live on Facebook, Rumble, Twitch, Twitter, and attempting to go live on Kick, but I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so here we go. Zachary also says, Inner Game Healing Summit did wonders for me, my anxiety, and my shout overall take my money. well-being. Much love, John. Can't thank you enough. John is J-O-N. But I still love you. And then shout out to Zach for the previous one. Oh, wait, no, no. Sorry. There was, I think you said an earlier one, right? Oh, wait. Is there two? There's another one that just came in. Oh, yeah. Steel Boy 789. I'm almost done in Japan. Everyone, everything is awesome and clean here. Subways are like mini malls under Tokyo. Underground Tokyo was the best place to visit for sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. More people have asked me to spot them in the gym since I've joined Intergame Healing. So there you go. There you go. Million Dollar Madness. Glad you're back, MLD. Always learning from you, teaching other men about these subjects. Right. Okay. So, okay. Here we go. Let's get heavy with it. So we got to talk about, you know, it's going to get heavy. You want to sit back and grab the mic. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to talk about, you know, uh, just what's going on. The state of men, state of manhood. And uh, much more here in uh, in 2023. So I was planning to draw with my iPad, but you know, I the iPad wasn't plugged for the longest time. 
So we're going to need to go back to the ghetto whiteboard. Bear with me. Okay, ghetto whiteboard's coming out here. And uh, let's pop it out. Okay. Okay. So. There's a gigantic problem in the Western world. Okay. And that gigantic problem is a culture that since mm, i would say you know since since the 80s really that they started this psyop here um to vilify men okay so this all started with the feminist movement in the United States of America, which has proven to be the, the, the most colossal failure in the history of mankind. Um, women are in the worst shape ever in human history in the United States of America. Um, just objectively speaking, they are now the fattest they have ever been. They are now binge drinking more than they have ever done in the history of humanity. They are now sleeping around and being more promiscuous than ever. Um, and they are being positively rewarded in the short term for their bad behavior that ultimately is going to lead to their personal demise in the long term. Okay. And um, it's really kind of become this self-sustaining monster that um, is only going to continue to rot away at the core of American culture, society, and um, the family unit. This is only going to get worse, gentlemen. I am, And then this is not me fear-mongering, okay? You guys know I am not here to fear-monger. I am not here to terrorize you or anything like that okay that is not my goal that is not my objective that is not what i'm here to do okay what i'm here to do is to empower you okay what i'm here to do is to take this all to the to a new level okay to make you stronger and better for you not for me okay there's no benefit i don't i don't set up some royalty plan or anything for your success okay um your success is for you on your turn on your terms and your terms only uh guys go ahead and smash the like button please don't forget smash the like button that's the number one metric that youtube uh really cares about in this whole youtube game so please go ahead and smash that like button Ahora mismo, por favor, please. Okay. Um, so let's talk about breaking it down. How did this all start? Okay. Let's go to the ghetto whiteboard. Okay. Here we are. Got to have my beautiful face on the picture here for now. All right. So. This all started by, you know, right here. Shut up and take my money. Okay. There we go. Oh, set me free, 99. I'm one of the best music producers in my state. Instead of using my rock star for fame, I sell it to local men and give them pro-level music for cheap. How do I scale? I have local clients. Live loyal clients. Get testimonials and charge more. Video testimonials, put it on a website, and then send that website to people and lather, rinse, repeat. Go to modernlifedating.com, book a consultation with me if you're serious. If you are the best in the world, then uh, you can afford a consultation with me. And um, we'll sit down and we'll crank it out. But that's easy. If you already have clientele and you were, if you really are, like I said, I am one of the best producers of your state, then we can easily make you money. Go ahead, book the consultation. Okay, I make people money for breakfast, cakewalk. So, okay, the the backbone of all of this is, okay, it is 
negative media plus government, we'll put govd, propaganda. Guys, sorry, I don't have my iPad charged. I swear, it's not gonna, this is just day one. From here on out, streams are only gonna get better and better. Okay? White bold kun. Damn. Koalis tunuro. Not for you. Give me a call, 407-380-7272. Call me right now, say what's up. It's 407-380-7272. Pick up your phone, give me a call. I'll say what's up. So negative media and government propaganda, okay? And this is all this stuff is anti-male. Okay. Men are bad, men are trash, men are garbage, men are awful men are evil men are by default just these big bad evil creatures right men are just the devil that's all it is okay so what this does is it poisons the minds of women and i know there are ladies watching out there and i'm sorry to say this but ladies i think we both understand that you're a little bit more susceptible to propaganda and manipulation because you're emotional creatures. So women who are smart, because it's funny, right? I've had a lot of wives reach out to me lately because their husbands are just being morons, like objectively being idiots, right? And a lot of these women, they're smart. They reach out to me, say, hey, MLD, like my husband is doing this and I know I'm emotional right now and I know I don't want to go to my single girlfriends to get advice because I know they're just going to say, you know, just leave him, men are shit, blah, 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 which is, by the way, tomorrow's episode, we're going to talk about how females sabotage relationships for their female friends. And I have like so much evidence from a recent Instagram poll thing that I've done. It's going to be pretty dark, but it is going to be also educational remember this is twin power you guys we have to first things first to solve the problem does everybody know what's the first step to solving a problem can we hit the jeopardy is jeopardy program no it's not first step to solving the problem does anybody know type it in the chat real quick what is the first step to solving a problem would love to know what you guys are thinking at home please let me know Where's my old Jeopardy? You got to program that too. Okay. No, it's not here. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Oh, I guess the Jeopardy theme is somewhere lost on my computer. I have to find it. Oh, well. I tried. Bingo. There you go. NBA Crypto Boys is admitting you have a problem. James is com completely correct. James is 100% correct. He says awareness of the problem, awareness of the problem. Okay. Understanding there is a problem. Hey, Mac McKenna, welcome back, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Admitting there's a problem. Burton says being aware of a problem, very identifying the problem. So what, what's happening right now, and you guys are part of this right now, you know, the guys who are part of this, this masculine empowerment movement online, okay, some people are doing it in the red pill. Some people are doing it in MGTOW, black pill, whatever the case may be. I am not like part of the red pill community. The red pill community has adopted me. Okay. I am just the hot dude pill. I am the MLD pill. I am me. That's what you get. That's who I am. Okay. If you don't like it, well, may the Lord bless you. Go out there and be somebody. But we're bringing awareness to the problem. Things like the whatever podcasts, Fresh and Fit podcasts, Just Pearly things. Okay, these are just bringing massive awareness to the problem. Okay. Now, when we talk about negative media, we're going to talk about a couple things. Okay. You're having, okay, social media. 
right? If you guys have access to Snapchat, you see those fucking Snapchat stories. It is absolutely cancer. Okay. And then you have music that is also negative. Okay. And then you have TV and movies. Okay. And we're witnessing the tail end of this poison. And a lot of women are waking up, unfortunately. Um, but we're going to talk about something else, too, later this week, after tomorrow's episode. Because tomorrow we're going to talk about female treachery and how females will sabotage other females in relationships because they are inherently jealous. I have so much evidence from sent to me from women. And these, let me just tell you something. This evidence that that these women have submitted to me, these women are fucking beautiful. These women are skinny. They have low body counts. They are mothers. And they are dropping some insider info on me. And all these women, because here's the deal. When it comes to feminine women, right? Feminine women are not combative and in your face and loud and shit, okay? It's usually broken, toxic, masculine women that are so vocally outward that spread this propaganda poison, right? Feminine women retreat. They, 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 they just need someone to protect them. They're feminine. They don't get like all aggressive and nasty and stuff like these fucking vagabonds do. And so they hide and because they're out there being happy. They're at, they have a man taking care of them. They're baking cookies. They're just, you know, taking care of babies. They're happy in their femininity. They're calm. They're peaceful. There's not drama in their life. There's not chaos in their life. Okay. And we're going to be talking about that. The day after is we're going to be talking about the top 10 black flags. That's a title. That's something that I've created. Be uh be be ready for everybody to start stealing it because that's what they do. But it's okay. I'm the I'm the gift that keeps on giving. Do you know Jonathan? My name ne means gracious gift from God. So I am doing the Lord's work by being this endless giver because there's no original thought out there. So it's okay. You can copy pasta me and you could copy the recipe, but you just you just can't copy the sauce. It's okay. But you can have my recipe because you're gonna steal it anyways, right? Um. But we're going to talk about the top 10 black flags that show you like a woman is just irrefutably done, gone and not savable, not able to be a loving, kind, good partner for anybody. OK, and the, this is truth. OK, you guys have to understand there is not a happy ending for most people. OK. There is permanent damage, okay? If you smoke fucking crack every day, your teeth rot out. Your brain is fried. There's no coming back from that. You don't grow new teeth. You don't grow new brain cells, okay? And the same thing that some of these behaviors, these women that get you know, tricked into or just circumstance of life happens to them, they become permanently undateable. And we're going to be talking about that on, is it Tuesday for you guys, right? So that's Thursday, top 10 black flags. You're not going to want to miss that episode as well. Okay. But anyways, let's just go back to this right here. So the negative media and government propaganda is in social media, music, TV, and movies, right? Um, for example, you know, Cardi, Cardi B in her notoriously disgusting song, Wet Ass Pussy, right? She is saying... I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got the ring. And her very husband Instagrammed her recently, cleaning the floor, saying, hey, you need to stop lying on your music videos, okay? These people are pawns by the elites to trick women, because this is extremely evil, okay? They are willing to sell women en masse a gigantic lie and ruin these women's lives all for the sake of money okay i'm sorry but if you do anything evil for the sake of money you are an absolute total dirtbag of a human being if you're going to go out there and ruin someone's life 
for something as lowly as money, you deserve the personal hell that you live in every single day. Every single day, you deserve to suffer because that's just disgusting. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, all these women talking about, you know, I'm out here being a fucking whore and being a, a boss babe, right? saying all kinds of trashy shit, women who refer to themselves as bitch, I'm the bitch, you know, all this just trashy, low-class behavior is absolutely reprehensible. Reprehensible in every sense of the word. Okay? And yeah, Nitro Engine 666 says she was selling it to the masses for profit. Absolutely. They all are. Yeah, our Trudeau here's it. Yeah, all the single ladies. Like, okay, like statistically speaking, too, like when Beyonce is saying, I could have another one of you in the minute, that's just objectively wrong. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Because us as men, you see, us as men, we will date a hot girl that's like 18, 19 years old that works the fry basket at Chick fil A. We can see a girl back there and be like, oh, that girl's wearing the fry basket. She's hot. She's 18, 19. That's okay. Like, I can make this work. Right? A guy will date a chick that's like financially a bum, no problem. And he can elevate her. But women, you have to understand the majority of women are going for a small percentage of men. I personally am starting to experience this now. Okay. And I'll tell you this uh, as a guy who, and this is like not a flex, I'm not trying to flex. I'm just, communicating objectively i have I, I, i'm 37 years old right now you can call me old you can call me fat ugly fake teeth all the bullshit you guys say but at the end of the day my fucking life is fantastic okay and i'm starting to get to that point now where my value is being noticed by a lot of women and the women are now coming to me i have an abundance of choices okay so when a woman says, I can have another one, another one of you in a minute, that's not true. But when you out there, if you're a guy who focuses on money, muscles, game, and frame, if you're a guy focusing on the core four, and you're actually objectively in, even if you're in the top 20%, okay, top 20%, she can't replace you in a minute. Okay, a lot of women nowadays, and Dan Bilzerian said this recently on, a, on the Fresh and Fit podcast, which is fantastic, and I've been saying it for the longest time, and I'm so glad a guy with like certified, like 100%, tons and tons and tons of experience with women can has can like completely backed me up, and he says this: these women, like a six, a seven, whatever, they'll get used by a man okay they a guy will fuck them pump them and dump them these women in their mind will lie to themselves and be like oh it was a relationship and yeah we only dated three months four months five months but he loved me and i loved him it just didn't it didn't work out because xyz and xyz of course it's not her fault it's his fault right but now they think in their mind oh I'm worthy of this. This is now my standard. Okay. That's like if I'm with you and we're friends, right? And I'm a great friend. And I say, hey, you know what? Let's go to the Wolfgang Steakhouse here in Tokyo where all the staff knows me. I walk in there. I'm like a politician. I'm shaking hands. I'm kissing babies. They all love me, right? And uh, when I walk in there and I, and I say, I'm going to treat you to lunch and you have like a nice $500 lunch with me, which is really good. If you ever go to Wolfgang's in Roppongi, okay, the shrimp cocktail, the oysters, the petite filet mignon, okay, the mashed potatoes, the cream spinach, the bread that they bring you, whew, oh my God, the fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, unbelievable. I'm getting hungry right now talking about it. And I treat you. And you, you know, you just like, let's just say you're on your up and up, you know, you're like a college student, you're a guy that, you know, you're, you're making 40, $50,000 a year, but you're grinding, you're trying to get your way to six figures. I respect men like that. Okay. But that's like me taking you there and then thinking, oh, well, I'm never going to eat a McDonald's anymore because I'm only deserving 
of this, even though I was treated by somebody else there, okay? Even though I was treated, I was a guest in high value land. I didn't earn my way up to high value land. This needs to be my standard now and nothing else is good enough for me. If you had a friend, right, who said that, you'd be like, yo, bro, you okay? You uh, you hitting that good, good? What's going on here? Okay. Fastback GT says, Rolo constantly compliments you. I love Rolo. Rolo Tomasi is a good man. Okay. See, that's what happens, guys. So they become brainwashed into thinking, this is my new standard. But remember this. And I said this, and you always hear Myron saying this because I taught it to him. But you've ever listened to Myron on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I said, a male loser is a guy who cannot consistently get women. A female loser is a woman that cannot consistently keep the man she desires. Okay? If she's getting pumped and dumped, pumped and dumped, pumped and dumped, something's not right here. She's lacking that feminine grace. Okay, smart women, you know what smart women do? Okay? Smart women enslave men with comfort and being useful. That's what they do. Okay? We all know about the great Miss MLD, the artist formerly known as Miss MLD. Sweetheart, to this day, I love her. Okay? We're great friends. There's not a there's not a amount, ounce of you know, toxicity or any bullshit, no, no garbage, no, you know, harboring of negative feelings. No, not, no, nothing like that. You know, we talked to FaceTime the other day, actually. And, um, you know, during the time I was with her, you know, there are other women in the picture, but she, she kind of knew, but she also knew that like these dirty bitches can be hoes, but I'm just going to be a good woman and I'm going to take care of this man. And that's why she was able to keep me for five years. Okay. She cooked, she cleaned, she took care of me. And guess what she got in return? The experience of a lifetime. Anywhere she wanted to go, we went. Anything she wanted, didn't fucking even, didn't even bat an eye. Just like, yep. Here's, you want you want a $3,000 Hermes purse or Hermes wallet? Sure. It's yours. You want to, where do you want to go for dinner? Anywhere in Tokyo. You name it. Anywhere in America, you name it. Let's go. Where do you want to go for vacation? Let's go. All paid for, all taken care of for. She knew, and smart women know, there are hoes and there are keepers. Most women think they're keepers nowadays, but they're really hoes. Okay? So I said all that to kind of make the point that this whole bullshit of women saying, I can have another one of you in a minute. Mm -mm. Not the case whatsoever. Okay. Not the case whatsoever. The reality is very simple. As a man, when you focus on the core four, money, muscles, game, frame, you know the art of leveling yourself up. And when you could level yourself up, then you could level other people up. All the women that came into my life, their lives got better. I left them a better person. I left a life changing impact on every single one of these women okay i could take a bum and level them up I've done it plenty of times okay now excuse me now the other side of the coin is this women can't do that to men women can't take a guy making 50 60 70 thousand dollars a year and wake up and be like hey baby Come on, it's time to get out there. It's time to be an alpha male. Time to level up. Time to do this. Time to do that. And even if they do do that, resentment builds, and eventually they're like, you know, fuck this guy, because they start to lose respect for you. Okay? So that's why it's imperative for you out there watching me right now taking the time out of your day to get educated and watch this content. This is why it's so important for you to level up because once you level up, you know how to level up and you know how to stay leveled up. 
And then you impart that on your woman. And then if she's a good woman, she'll accept the teachings, she'll accept it, and she'll level up with you. And the women who don't want to do that, well, you know where they go. She belongs to the streets. Back to the streets where you came, sweetie. Give them a blanket, wrap it around her, give a kiss on the forehead. Mwah. All right, baby, the streets are cold. You know, you had your shot at the title. You dropped the ball. You got to send you out, baby. Best of luck to you. Okay. You can stalk me on all social media. It's all good. So, <laughs> yeah, Kokoa says this funny. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> right? So, a la calle. <laughs> a la calle. That's so fucking funny. I'm going to put, let me keep that on the street right there. That's funny. That means for the streets in Spanish. Um, <laughs> that is hilarious, dude. Okay. So let's go back here and continue to break down on the ghetto whiteboard. Sorry, I don't have the ballers only um, iPad. It's charging. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. And you guys, if you have any questions, uh, you have to send a super chat for me to derail the lesson. Other than that, I'm going to be ignoring all questions with all due respect because I got a fucking show to run. So, yet negative media plus government shout out propaganda. To take my money. Right? Uh, shout out to Oma999 Super Chat. Taking MLD's lessons to heart, one of the best things I've ever done when he came into my life. Thank you, sir, and God bless. Everyone like the freaking video. Yes, please like the video, guys. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it. All the donations you guys send, they all go to the, Nord the new studio fund, okay? The new studio fund. So, just patiently waiting. Patiently waiting for the visa. Visas are just backed up right now because of corona. Anyways. So you have negative media plus government propaganda, right? The biggest thing that the government – it's funny. Everything that the government accuses you of doing, they're actually doing, right? Sex trafficking, sexual assault, all those things. Can we just talk about, like, why, why is everybody attacking Kanye West, right? But uh, the Epstein Island client list is just, hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Okay, so you have this. So what does this do? Okay, this, all it does right here is twofold. Okay, it poisons minds. Okay, it poisons minds of men and women. Okay, this is po it poisons their mind. All right. So you have that. Now everybody's mind is poisoned, right? Now guess what? You have you have women that are thinking by default, men are just garbage. Men are by these women, these women literally believe that men are trash, men are inherently bad. And that they are just victims and slaves to men. And there's nothing they can do about it. Unless government or social media or these big corporations pop in and save them. Hilarious. So what does this do? Okay. Well, this is when the government comes into play, right? So it poisons the mind. And women believe to look at men for one reason and one reason only, okay? Money. So they get married, and then we all know what happens. A lot of these women will marry men under false pretense. A lot of women will lie to a man and pretend to be somebody they're not in order to get into a relationship with them. And if the man is a, is a buffoon, he'll, he'll believe it, right? But like Buddha says... Three things always come out, the sun, the moon, and the truth, okay? The sun, the moon, and the truth, right? We're in the, we're in the situation now where the truth is coming out. So they can pretend, they can pretend, they can pretend, but eventually their treachery comes out. However, this leads to the inevitable divorce. Okay. 
American divorce is the worst in the world. Okay. And then it's all, it's all, it's also in the Western world. It really is in the Western world. And it's where the media is just the biggest culprit. Okay. The media is the biggest, biggest culprit. Okay. So when the divorce happens, okay, what happens to divorce? Okay. Husbands are the number one, or excuse me, number two. Husband equal financial slave. You have to pay child support. You have to pay alimony or you go to prison. So the husband is a financial slave. Okay. The children, which would be kids, kids are super damaged. Okay. Okay. So let's elaborate on that. Okay. Girls raised. Shut up and take my money. To hate men. Boys raised to hate themselves. Why? Because nine times out of ten, the mother is engaging in a psychological smear campaign against the boys saying your dad was a terrible person your dad was evil your dad was a monster your dad was terrible okay shout out to rig roll one dollar super chat appreciate you bro okay okay in addition to this you have government propaganda now in the schools telling men you are toxically masculine you are inherently bad and telling women the complete opposite. You don't need a man. Okay, can you imagine just going through life saying, I don't need 50% of the human existence? Could you just, could you, could we just quantify that insanity? And this is where we are right now. These, the boys that were raised to hate themselves, these boys are now men. These guys that grew up in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, the boys that were born in the year 2000 are now 23 years old, and they definitely hate themselves. The majority of them, they're taught, you're bad, you're broken, okay? You're a freak. You're, you're, you're just like you're a rapist by default. And we are now at this point in our culture where this is happening. Okay. Viewer discretion is advice. This is the official spokesperson for Bud Light. Hi. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. 
This month I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya. Cheers. Go team. Whatever team you love, I love too. Okay. Love ya. Okay. Break a leg. Woo. Hi. So that is the face of Bud Light and uh, not really going good for them. No. Um, which rightfully so. I mean, it's just terrible, honestly. Uh, you don't believe me? Well, take a look at the numbers here. Um, if you take a look at the numbers, if I can just get a website that doesn't have me want to sign up for the subscription. Bud Light. Go woke, go broke. Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, loses $6 billion in six days following trans backlash. Okay. Shut up and take my money. Trans backlash. Bud Light is America's biggest selling beer with 14% of the overall beer market. Earlier this month, Bud Light entered a partnership with the, uh, Dylan Mulvaney, 27 who is currently on hormones to transition to a woman. The promotion included a $15,000 prize and a personalized can with Mulvaney's face on it and a message that reading, cheers to 300 days, 365 days of being a woman. Uh, there's so much uh, to break down here, but like, <laughs> I want to also show you the, uh, a video of the, of the person in charge of this campaign. Okay. Uh, this is Alyssa. Alyssa Heiner, uh, Heiner Schneid, uh, Bud Light's VP of Marketing. Let me tell you something. Bud Light, you better hire me to be your VP of Marketing. If, you, if this is the best you can do, please look at my commercials. Please look at my conversion rates. Okay. Look how I took this business to a million dollars in two years and the numbers just keep growing. Okay. Holler at your boy because you're in some desperate need of help. Uh, the hubris, the arrogance, uh, and she did this on purpose, just so you guys know. These children things in the background was for her to manipulate, because she's a marketing person, to manipulate the masses into feeling bad for her, okay? So the people would criticize, like, oh, well, she's a mother, so it's okay. Right. Let's hear what she has to say. Well, I'm a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I had a really clear job to do when I took over Bud Light. And it was, this brand is in decline. It's been in decline for a really long time. And if we do not attract young drinkers to come and drink this brand, there will be no future for Bud Light. So I had this super clear mandate. It's like, we mm -hmm. need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. And my, what I brought to that was a belief in Okay, what is what do, what does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. It means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter. And see, the reality is she's believing this bullshit because she was taught this in college, like inclusive inclusivity and blah 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 and all this shit. It's like no, no. Okay, you clearly don't understand men. Who the fuck at Bud Light hired this person? What is her annual salary? This is comedy. Comedy in clown world. Comedy at its fucking best. Unbelievable how incompetent, how out of touch, and how broken American society is. And the hubris of this pompous woman to think that this would work. It's why it's a total joke. It's a complete and total joke. And different and appeals to women and to men. Mm -hmm. And representation is at sort of the heart of evolution. You've got to see people who reflect you in the work. And we have. You got to see people that reflect you in the work. Got it. Got it. I had this hangover. I mean, 
Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor and bratty out of touch humor that worked that sold it's bratty and out of touch because this woman doesn't understand men at all and it was really important (laughs) that we had another approach okay comedy 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 okay uh and this, as you know, in modern today time, in today's modern times, there's always, always, always hints. There's always, always evidence. There's always, always, always truth. If you just look for it, let's take a look at her family. Take a look at her husband. That's her husband right there. If you can read people, you can see it in their eyes. This guy's not happy. Are you kidding me? Married to this creature? Well, she's happy. She's running the show. We need to see our our people, our users need to see themselves in shut up and take my money they need to see themselves in the branding here we go how many of you guys see yourself here la cerveza bad light ha perdido aproximadamente 7 mil millones de dólares in- this is a commercial the this is just spanish uh Commentary. En cinco días en la bolsa de valores, tras contratar a un hombre trans, Dylan Malvaini, para su publicidad, ¿qué opinas de este gran fracaso publicitario? You guys feel represented? You guys probably feel more represented looking at me than that biological male. Dax Hill, $10 super chat. Appreciate you, my brother. He says, the game is jacked up. I feel bad for everyone. Guys that think girls just want money and, and girls no longer meet men who can make them feel and are only wallets. Huge negative reinforcement loop. At least you see the truth, okay? Uh, Kokoa, you you think they'll bring back the, the draft? It's already here. Never, it never went away. Okay. Uh, Kiri, the LGB make up less than 3.6% of the population. The T makes up less than 0.5% of the population. How appeal, how is appealing to this demographic going to save the brand? Even if they all drank, it wouldn't be enough. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, but again, it just shows you that the woman is out of touch with reality. And that's, that's, the, that's the thing. The biggest thing right now, the biggest theme, and again, this is not to shit on woman, but it's an objective reality. The average woman is out of touch with in this in the western world how to be feminine okay and how to understand men okay guys i have dated literally hundreds of women i have gone on dates with over 500 women from around the world and i'll say this and no offense to my american ladies watching now but american women have this built-in masculinity to them that's just from their mothers the culture and it's gross like i i can't do it i need a feminine woman i am a fucking masculine guy all right i am aggressive i am a go-getter i am a self-made multi-million dollar earner i am a fucking man in every sense of the word okay and I don't need some argumentative masculine bitch in my fucking life chirping her way with her bullshit and her opinions that have gotten her the shit life that she has. Okay? I get it. If you're giga rich, giga fucking popular, and giga accomplished, and now you want to give me some advice and shit. But other than that, I'm not trying to hear it at all. Okay, so 
That's what's happening. Let's go back to the whiteboard. You learning something today? You learning? Hope you are. Don't forget to go to the Masculine Empowerment Network. Get on the waiting list for this year-long journey that's going to fucking change your life and much more, okay? So now here we are. Let's talk about the girls. So the girls... They are raised by broken masculine promiscuous women okay and this whole let me just tell you guys something too this whole hoe phase oh i've gone through a whole phase and all stuff that's not normal that's an exclusive american western idea like oh i just needed to go through this whole phase no your life is a hoe phase if you think you need to go through a whole phase sorry baby you're a hoe and all you're gonna do is dial back that whoredom but that's in you that's who you are can you make a change? Can you turn your life around? Statistically speaking, yes. Is it probable? No. Okay. So now they're raised by broken, masculine, broken, masculine, promiscuous women. So what does that make them? Well, whoever you're raised by, who's you going to become by, right? So. Daughters, follow, they follow. And here's an example of a woman. How you can tell if a woman has a high body count, okay? Because women, you have to understand that the, the behaviors that a person is enacting and going through, right, these are repeated behaviors, okay? And these actually create neural pathways in their mind. The more you repeat something, the more it becomes like secondhand. You know what I mean? It's like when you're, let's just say you play a sport like racquetball, right? And when you first get out there, you hit the ball a couple times and you're like, okay, this is kind of hard, whatever. But through repetition, you build a baseline of skill. And you're eventually going to stay back at that baseline. More effort you put, the more the baseline becomes higher, right? Same thing with chicks who are broken, masculine, and promiscuous. And when a woman is masculine, okay, and has a high body count, you'll always notice that instead of sticking around, because this is how you make relationships work. If there are no black flags, you stick around and you have a rough patch, you work through it together. Anytime you hear a woman saying, I just need a break or I need to heal on my own or blah, 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 blah. That's a woman with a high body count. And that's a woman who's being influenced by her hoe friends. And that's a woman who thinks the solution to my problems is always at the end of another dick. Your dick. No. Your dick. Is not the dick for me another man is going to solve it and that's the path they get on and it becomes a, a pattern they jump from man to man to man lowering their value upping their body count and upping the amount of psychological trauma that goes through their mind because it weighs on these women to be used and abused and pumped and dumped and pumped and dumped that's women consistently catching an l and l and l and l and that weighs against them, right? Same thing like if you're a guy and you just go to every job and you get fired, 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 or you fail, 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 fail. It's going to eat away at your confidence. It's going to eat away at your core identity. Same thing with them. Okay? 
Dramore says, what if you are attracted to broken, masculine, promiscuous women? If you're attracted to that, then, sir, you too are broken. Okay? Let me tell you a little story, boys. Okay? Let me tell you a, a story from a man to some of you guys out here talking like children. I went out I went out Friday night, right? Buddy invited me out. I was wearing a suit. I said, fuck it. Let's go. I went out. And... A friend of mine was with some chicks that are models, right? And some of these, one of these girls was, they were both pretty girls, right? But one of these girls was just such a nasty cunt to me in her demeanor. She was like staring at me aggressively. And I was like, is this, is this bitch never been punched in the face? Like, does she know what's like what she's, you know, poking at? A lot of guys are still like, oh, you know, we just got, like, she's just drunk. She's just this. She's just that, right? But when I see a chick like that, because I'm healthy, I'm clean, my mind is solid, I see that chick, and no matter how hot she is, I'm like, this bitch is a fucking liability. A total liability. Okay? When your mind is clean, your mind Shut is up healed. Shut take my money. And when your mind is on the right path and you have rock solid frame right here, okay, game plus frame, when you see trashy women, you're going to be turned off by it. You know why the Fresh and Fit audience is so huge and so massive? Because the dudes who are watching that are extremely thirsty and their mind is not fully versed to understand no matter how hot these girls are, if they're internally broken, she is only going to bring hell into your life. All right. And this whole endless player thing, it's an illusion. It's a facade. It's not real. For the average guy, it's not real. Chasing and getting, because here's the deal, right? Being involved in the hookup culture, chasing after these chicks, right? The women that are involved in hookup culture are broken women. Their brains are fucked up. Their, their eggs are scrambled. And what's going to happen to you if you're consistently spending time with these broken, scrambled egg women? What's going to happen? That juju is going to jump off on you. Okay? It's very similar. Like, you know, when the... For example, there's a phenomenon known with like prison guards, people who work in the prison industry, right? Shout out to all the guys who work with watching me from the prison industry. But they have to go to jail every day for their work as well. And that jail vibe jumps off on them. They start to feel like they're in jail too because they are. You have to go to jail every day. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then this is really what this is what we talked about in the inner game healing summit. When you touch poison, you get poisoned. So you have to understand you're making a deal with the devil. Okay, a lot of you guys out there got involved with chicks that had red flags and you ended up getting burned. Why? Because when you touch poison, you get poisoned. Okay. When you touch poison, you get poisoned. Morgan Jones is in the house, married hottie. She says, I mean, girls that go to those environments are trashy anyways. Clubs, bars are just pointless. Yes, exactly. Okay. Rig and roll, ten dollars super chat. Females think they need to be masculine to be seen loved. How do you see past that? Uh, I just look at them and realize, okay, she thinks she needs to be masculine. She belongs to the streets. Back to the streets, streak walker. Get out of here. Anytime I see that, that kind of shitty behavior, I know. Street walker confirmed. Back to the streets. The best you're gonna get is a pump and dump out of me. Then I have to go cleanse myself from the filth the filth of your whoredom 
<laughs> my mom said the spirit of whoredom is never satisfied. <laughs> She's right. She is right. That spirit of whoredom is never satisfied, you know, because it goes back to like what we're talking about, inner game healing, that brokenness, that emptiness, that consistent need for external validation consumes them. They can't even, they can't even think straight. They cannot even focus. Okay. It's sad. It's really sad. So now let's talk about what's happening in the States. You have these constant psychological attacks against men. Okay. It's in social media. It's in children's programming. It's in Disney movies. Okay. Constantly shitting on men. Men are just stupid. Homer Simpson, uh, Peter Griffin, right? Al Bundy from back in the day. Okay. All of this. Men are dumb, men are dumb, men are dumb, right? The tail end of good stuff on TV was in the 90s when you had, for example, Step by Step, okay? Family Matters, Full House. Full House was actually super positive masculinity. Three men raising the daughters, being good, positive fathers, okay? But then the shift started. It started with Seinfeld, then it started with Friends, right? Showing that men are these kind of incompetent e people. Elaine from Seinfeld was kind of the canary in the whole in the uh, coal mine, just showing like this, you know, New York slut just sleeping around, couldn't hold a man to save her life. Okay. So there is just so much of propaganda that I was everywhere. I, I agree. Seinfeld was awesome. Awesome. I love Seinfeld. Seinfeld is still a great show, but you have to, you know, see past the propaganda do your best to enjoy it i love kramer kramer's my favorite character um so now you have that so you have this whole generation now of non-stop psychological attacks against young boys and we're kind of seeing a, a a pushback to it you have a psychological warfare campaign of saying men are trash, men are trash, men are trash. Women are better than men. Women are the best. You go girl, queen, 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 cope, 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 lie, lie, lie. It's all bullshit. Okay. It's everywhere. And now here we are. Well, leads me to an interesting article sent to me by my brother, Bill. Shout out to you, Bill. Lifelong friend, winner in every fucking sense of like a, like a real, actual American hero. Okay. Father, husband, doing his part. Sent me this article. More transgender women than men in the U.S. study finds. There are more transgender women than men. So transgender women means biological men who decided to become women. According to a study of U.S. adults, the study, which is the first to estimate the proportion of transgender people in the United States, found that there are 1.4 million transgender adults in the country. 1.4 million, okay? And old Horseface McGee, the, the fucking Heiner Schneid, the, the modern-day <laughs> fucking Nazi. <laughs> Heiner Schneid sounds like German. Um, she does look German. But she is the one saying we need to in be more inclusive. So uh, riddle me this. There are 330 million people in the United States of America. So you believe that including this 1.4 million people who are a subset fringe part of society – that including this small number here, that's going to turn everything around. It, it's, it's comical. It, it is a joke how easy. It, that's just a testament to show you how 
easy women have had it in America to just consistently live in this delusion that's propagated by social media. Social media makes you feel like transgender people are in every fucking corner. They make you think that gay people are in every fucking corner. They make you think that every white person is a fucking racist and every black person is this gigantic hero who is just championing for black rights under this big oppressive white tyranny. And all of this stuff is there to turn people against each other. Okay. That's what it is because they don't want white men and black men coming together and being like, Hey, the government's fucking us like both. They don't want men and women to come together and make strong families to realize like, Hey, wait a minute. We're being completely fucked in the tax system. And the reason America was established was to avoid taxation. So let's continue. Okay. There are 1.4 transgender adults in the United States, and of these, 1.2 million are transgender women. This is not a statistical anomaly. This is not a coincidence. This, in my opinion, is a response to men being demonized from the moment they are born. Literally from the moment they're born, these boys that are born in the year 2000, the millennial babies, okay? They're just thinking, well, I see on TikTok, I see on Snapchat, I see on Facebook, I see on Twitter, I see on YouTube that men are evil, men are bad. And women are seem to be the best. And so they start to think in this broken state of mind, well, maybe I should just become a woman. Okay. And let me ask you this, guys. Why is there not a gigantic transgender movement in India? Why is there not a giant transgender movement in Russia? Why is there not a giant transgender movement in China? Why is there not a giant transgender movement here in Japan? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see who's influencing the media. Okay. Recently, the United States of America went to a country in Africa. And they said to these African people, we're going to protect you, but you need to start educating and enforcing this transgender ideology within your African culture. Just, you know, based Africans, Africans don't play with like the forced militant homosexuality propaganda. Okay. Cause it's very militant and present in the United States. Okay. You're supposed to enthusiastically cheer on every LGBTQ cause regardless of your religion, regardless of your personal preference, regardless of your personal thoughts. And if you're not, you are a hate-filled bigot. You are a person with hate in your heart. That's what they're that's what this propaganda is saying. Okay? Now, let's see the other side of the coin. China and Russia also went to this country in Africa and they said, "We'll protect you. We'll give you weapons, we'll train you up, and we'll teach you how to arm yourself." and be self-sufficient. And then we would like to do business with you. Who do you think the African country is siding with now? That's like me coming into your house and forcing you to redecorate your entire house, put pictures of my face all over, say you got to worship me, and if you don't, we're going to fucking bomb you and we're going to ruin you. Compared to another person saying, hey, uh, we're going to give you the opportunity to decorate the house the way you like. And when your house is decorated, then we'll do business with you. But we just don't do business with people who don't have houses that are not decorated. Does that make sense to you guys? Let me know.
Shout out to my African homie. He said, bro, we don't play that shit. And the number one people in America who are res- refusing the LGBT propaganda in the schooling and transgender propaganda is the black community. But, okay, you know, pay no mind to those black people. They're just not as enlightened and woke and 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 so in and I don't even know to say whatever pompous like pompous pompous disgusting superiority that these white liberals have quite frankly they just think oh you poor you poor black person oh you poor white person they probably didn't read the books that we read and they don't understand like the superiority of the gays and the transgender all oh, poor black people it's because of, you know we didn't teach you that's really the tone these white liberal people are the most fucking racist pieces of shit and the reason why they're jumping on these fucking bandwagons as quick as possible they got skeletons in their closets MLD, are you white? I am half white and half Trinidadian and Tobago, which is Indian. Why does that fucking matter to you? What, do, what, what does my race have to do with this? Are you fucking retarded? Is that, that's the thing you got? Like, what's this guy's race? Because so, if, he's, if he's this race, I'm going to get angry he said this. And if he's this race, I'm not going to get angry because that's how my retarded ass mind works. Sorry, you get one of these. Uh-oh, retard alert. That's what you're taking away from this. You're lost. You are lost if that's what you're taking away from this. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go back to the article here. Uh, the study, which was conducted by the Williams Institute at the University of, Sal- of California, Los Angeles, used data from a U.S. National Transgender Discrimination Survey. The findings suggest that transgender women are twice as likely as transgender men to experience discrimination, violence, and poverty. The study, I mean, violence, I could imagine why, because you go in a bar and fucking trick a man into thinking you're a woman. Bro, if that should happen to me, if, if some fucking transgender dude tricked me into thinking, I, he was a woman, and I fucking kissed that dude. I'm going to punch him in his fucking face. That's fucking wrong. It's the same way if a man forcefully kissed a woman and she slapped him or punched him in the face, that's also acceptable because you are fucking breaking societal rules. It's not okay. The study also found that transgender people of color are more likely to experience these problems than white transgender, of course. Of course, it's got to make about somehow I got a slip race in there. Okay. Male to female transsexuals, also known as trans women, a woman that is transitioned, a person assigned female and male gender at birth on the gender of their parents, individual, an individual who does not identify as gender is referred to as transgender. Okay. So. There's that. Let me just scroll past this big fucking hilarious, dude. Just hilarious. Let's go back to the insanity. There's no definitive answer to this question as it largely depends on a specific type of surgery being con- uh, considered. In general, however, it is fair to say that there are more male to female surgeries than female to male surgeries. This is likely due to the fact that there are more biological factors working against individuals who wish to transition from male to female and thus more interventions are required in order to achieve the desired result. How does this even make sense? Wait, wait, wait. It is fair to say there are more male to female surgeries than female to male. This is likely due to the fact that there are more biological working against individuals who wish to transition from male to female. Then if there's more working against it, how is more being done? Thus, more interventions are required in order to achieve the desired results. This, this whoever wrote this article is retarded. Additionally, 
It is worth noting that the vast majority of trans individuals identify as female, which likely contributes to a higher number of male to female surgeries. The Center of Transsexual Medicine Surgery provides transgender patients with comprehensive services throughout their lives. The trans feminine procedure is used by patients who want to gain feminine characteristics. A general anesthetic is used to perform feminization, facial feminization surgery. The labia minora is created in addition to a vagina, clitoris, and labia majora and labia minora. Okay, no, you can't create a clitoris. Sorry. Only God can do that. Trust me, I have found many clitorises in my life. I know exactly how they work. How they work. Uh, CTMS surgeon can lower the pitch of a vocal cord by shortening its length. It is recommended that you do not speak for a week following surgery. Okay. That, well, they don't talk about too. I'm just, cause I just, I don't feel like going into the, in, the, the depths of the insanity here. Okay. Um, so this is just even stressful to talk about, but it needs to be talked about. Okay. So, perfect evidence in their chat, actually. I'm going to bring it back up by my sweet friend, Milagros. Okay. She wrote it here. I got a transgender clinic sending me mail in Spanish. They're trying to invade other cultures, especially the ones that are family first. Yeah, you know what they're trying to do? It's all about money. Guys, you have to understand. You have to understand that Reality is the majority of human beings, okay, are shit people, okay? 50% IQ or less. It's literally toss of a coin, okay? Because they get influenced by this propaganda that's being pushed out, okay? Exactly. Morgan Jones says it right here. Lifetime pharmaceutical customer. Okay. So, but it doesn't stop there at adults. That's right, folks. Only in America do you have transgender children. Transgender children are far more likely than cisgender children to experience depression, anxiety, and suicide. More than 30% of trans high schoolers have been victims of sexual violence in the previous year. Adults are unaware of or unwilling to accept the presence of a trans teen and child. A wealth of information on how to support trans children can be found on the internet. Children who are transgender have similar developmental and recognition patterns as do children who are cisgender. Adults in the local communities are just likely to believe them or not. Is a child out there who is not transgender and just a closeted girl? Okay. This is what's happening right now, okay? Because I'm going to show you the influence. Okay, I'm going to show you the, t the hierarchy, and I'm going to show you the influence pyramid, okay? So take a look at the ghetto whiteboard. Okay. This is the influence hierarchy, okay? The man loves and protects and is influenced by the woman okay and the woman is loved and influenced by her kid this is why if you ever date a girl who's a single mom you know that kid's always going to come before you okay now, the natural hierarchy is man is the leader because he has the ability to provide, protect, and not be so emotional and be more stable than a woman. Okay, and the data is clearly evident as well. Single father households, almost no difference in the outcome of the children of a two-family two outcome, two-family home, mother and father. Almost virtually no identical, virtually identical. Single mother, however, criminal. Criminal children, sexually promiscuous at an earlier age, higher anxiety, higher depression, the list goes on and on and on. Okay? Did 
the man is in control. The woman is number two. And the children have no say because they're fucking children. They don't know shit. Okay. But in America, we have inverted this and perverted it. Okay. This is what's happening now. Okay. When we were little boys out there. Okay. You know what I used to do? I used to watch Batman, the animated series. Because it was one of the greatest pieces of cultural media put out in my time. In the 90s, after school, Batman was on. And I was watching Batman, I was watching Batgirl, and I was watching the Joker getting his ass kicked by Batman. Okay? And when that was done, you know what I used to do? I used to go and grab a towel and tie it around, a black towel tied around my neck and run around and be like, Mom, I'm Batman. I am Batman. Okay, because I was influenced by the media. Nowadays, children are influenced by the media and a little boy is watching all this feminized content and he starts saying, oh, you know what? I'm a girl. And these mothers are like, oh, my God, I have a trans child. Let's go cut your dick off. Children are children. They're not fully developed up here. That's why they're called kids. That's why they can't consent to sexual contact under the age of 18. That's why they can't smoke cigarettes. That's why they can't go to fucking war and die. That's why they don't have to pay taxes. That's why that they don't fucking uh, have the ability to drive until like at least a later age. Okay. But of course, this is only exclusively happening in the West. And who controls the media in the Western Hemisphere? I don't know. But it's the media. And it's influencing all of this stuff. If you take a look at all these drag queen story hours and all that stuff, usually it's right here. This, nowhere to be seen. And if they are, they're a super soy looking dude. Okay. So, if we run a quick number check, right? And calculate the percentage of transgender people that are men becoming women versus women becoming men, okay? It is... <laughs> 85% of the transgender men to women is a majority. That's men becoming women. Very small minority, 15% of them, men, or women to men. Okay? This is not going to end well. Because they, these cowards, okay, cowards are uh, it's called Anne Hauser Bush. I don't know what's called Anne Bush. Recently came out with a letter. Bud Life Chief Executive. Okay. Came out and put a letter out to the public. Recently, after losing six billion dollars. Six billion. That VP of marketing better be fired. But the thing is, probably not. Um, probably not, because there's too many cowards in America. Too many cowards. That's why Kathleen Kennedy has not been fired for single-handedly ruining the Star Wars brand. 
Okay, it's it's very evident that this feminism and this psychotic liberal agenda is just ruining everybody. Take a look here. Let's let's see what this has to say. Okay, this is the response. This is the response from the Anheuser Bush. Our responsibility to America. As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I am responsible for ensuring every customer feels proud of the beer we brew. We're honored to be part of a fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people, and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history of supporting our communities, military, first responders, sports fans, and hard-working Americans everywhere. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. That's when they put it on you. Oh, you're bad. They see they're still they're doubling down. You at home, you're bad. You're dividing people when they're the ones actually causing the division. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. My time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability, which you're escaping right now, and the values upon which America was founded, freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I am focused on building and protecting a remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, our brands, and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers. No, you don't. Distributors and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation. B.R. Whitworth. Whitworth. Okay. Out of touch with the reality. Out of touch with people. Completely out of touch. Okay. Reprehensible behavior. And honestly, it's just going to get worse because they refuse to admit the truth. And here we are. It's going to get worse. Okay. It's not going to end well. America is circling the drain, guys. Get over it. There is no making America great again. There's going to be no great American comeback. Specifically, you need to just find a way to protect yourself, find a way to be strong, and find a way to do what you got to do. Get strong, get independent, live your life, and you know, only then will you truly be saved. Up to you. You got to get smart. You got to get strong. You got to get disciplined. You got to get your ass in shape. Or you're just going to be a slave to this propaganda. You need to be a slave to what they want. And that's what we're teaching you guys at the Masculine Empowerment Network. So if you're not on the waiting list and you're not taking a look at it right now, go to MasculineEmpowermentNetwork.com. Get in there. Put your best email address right here. And then click here to save your spot. You'll be locked and loaded and ready to roll. Okay. Join a brotherhood of guys who are working to improve themselves. Even if you're a guy who signed up before and you're like, I don't know if I need to do this again. You do. You do. Because if I am of needing consistent masculine support and I'm already at a very high level in my success in life, you're going to need it too. Okay. This is only going to get worse. And the attacks against you are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So you have to respond. The weak will perish. Like I said, with the whole, you know, cough situation and this guy and all that, the weak were the ones who believed and now they're suffering. You got to get strong. Okay. You got to make it happen. It is not going to get better. It's going to get worse, but don't be afraid. Okay. Be strong. You can make it happen. 
Till then, I'll see you here tomorrow. Peace out.